Hola, buenas tardes. So I'm getting ready to make uh, roasted short ribs. I know, we love short ribs in this house and we love cauliflower. And I'm not crazy about celery, but the celery salad on this dish, it's really beautiful and it complements the meal and it adds crunch to it. So anyway, this is a Bon Appetit recipe. I've had this forever. And the reason I wanted to share a recipe and I'm gonna start sharing more recipes with you guys that I get is because a lot of times you never know what it's going to taste like or the complexity of the dish. And so I wanted to show you how to make this one because it's absolutely easy and delicious. And I made it two weeks ago um, for Itai for date night and he just fell in love with it and couldn't stop eating it. So anyway, I got um, bone-in short ribs. I'll show you right now what I do with them. Um, and it is served on a bed of cauliflower. And on top of the short ribs, you put the um, celery salad that adds this beautiful um, crunch to it, like I said. So, okay, so I will attach the um, recipe, but it's really not a lot of uh, ingredients, but I just don't want to go through the entire thing with you guys and bore you to tears. Or is it too late for that? Anyway, so I'm just um, pressing this down. It's got oil, soy sauce, uh, rosemary, and the reason I like to press on it, even though the recipe doesn't um, ask for that, is because I really like to release some of that aroma from the rosemary, and it smells absolutely wonderful. So anyway, I have a bone-in short ribs, okay? I just have four pieces. I'm just making the meal for Itai and I, okay? Because the kids are not gonna eat this because it does have a kick from the red pepper flakes on that uh, sauce. But see how big these are, okay? So all you really need for that, okay, is a little bit of salt and pepper, okay? Just be generous with uh, the salt, especially when you have uh, something so thick like that, you really want everything um, to have, to be well seasoned, okay? And then pepper, and you do it on both sides, okay guys? And flip those babies over, okay? Let me wash my hands here. Quick little rinse. Um, there you go. Now, here comes the best part. Get the oven ready, by the way, to 275 degrees. I have to be completely insane to be making this um, dish, by the way, because it's 115 degrees in Arizona right now, okay? So now look, can you see this? Okay, I put the salt and pepper and then you can do it with your hands too, by the way, but I'm kind of, I don't know how on earth I can eat meat, but I just can't sit there and massage it with my hands, okay? That's, that's all you have to do with that, you see? Look how beautiful that looks, okay? Okay, so look at this, how beautiful. They're completely covered. The recipe actually calls it a paste, doesn't call it a sauce call it a sauce, whatever, call it whatever you want. They taste amazing. So anyway, it's completely covered. It's got the salt, it's got the pepper, and then this beautiful sauce that the recipe calls for. So it, the recipe says put it in a cast iron and cover it with um, foil, but I don't use foil when I cook just because it's not really healthy for you. So um, I'm using a stainless steel pot, okay? So I just put them in there like that. No big deal. There's, you don't have to do anything else. Okay, there's that. Okay, now, you're gonna put those in the oven, okay, and it calls for about two and a half to three hours. After an hour and a half, you should check them, see if you need to flip them. It should be falling off the bone. It should be a tender uh, piece of meat that you lay on top of this beautiful cauliflower puree, okay? You're gonna put that, one of the best things about this recipe, by the way, you have this in the oven and you're gonna get a head of cauliflower, okay? You're gonna cut it into pieces, okay? Put it in a topper like this, okay? You're gonna put a little bit of salt, 
a little bit of pepper, okay? And just put oil. That's it, okay? If you want, you can, if you feel that there's uh, not enough oil in there in the, in the cauliflower, just use your hands and mix it, okay? Okay, so now the short ribs are ready to go in. I just uh, made sure that the cauliflower had oil, the salt and pepper all around, so I mixed it together. Now I'm gonna put both things in the oven. I'm gonna check the short ribs in an hour and a half. And because the heat is so low, I'm thinking, depending on the size of your cauliflower and your oven, um, I'm gonna check these in about an hour, the cauliflower. And if I feel that it's um, ready and soft, in order to make that puree, okay? I'm gonna take it out. But the recipe calls for an hour and a half. The last time I made it, it was ready in an hour. So again, sometimes you just have to watch it. Short ribs, check them in an hour and a half. Cauliflower, you can check them within an hour. You don't have to open. I sh actually, you shouldn't open the oven because some of the heat comes out and it's gonna affect your, your cooking uh, time a little bit, okay? If you open it too much or too often. Okay, so I'm gonna put these babies in and then I'm gonna show you the celery salad. Super simple. Okay, while the short ribs are cooking, now I'm gonna be prepping the celery salad. Again, the celery salad gives it a really beautiful um, crunch. You can make the celery salad way ahead of time too, before you even start working on the short ribs. I mean, we have kids and a lot of times, you know, when they're napping or, you know, my meal prepping has to be done um in a way that it doesn't interfere with my time with them so anyway so um i'm doing four celery stalks right now by the way don't discard these okay because uh you're going to use them in the salad okay uh i'm using four celery stalks because the last time i made the recipe we were really craving more celery we were really craving that beautiful freshness from the celery and the crunch from the celery so I'm gonna double that part of uh, the recipe. And what this salad has, what it needs, if you're doubling the recipe like I am, so I'm doing um, four celery stalks. Ooh, oh, that's my earring. Um, four celery stalks, okay? Salt, pepper, use sea salt, okay? And half a cup of parsley. And then we're gonna do pepper, okay, oh, wrong, salt. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of um, sea salt. I'm doing about a fourth teaspoon. And I'm gonna do two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two of them, okay? There you go. And then you're just gonna mix all that. And that's all it needs, let's see. Yeah, celery with the leaves, I told you, uh-huh. Chopped parsley, olive oil. Okay, let's pour a little bit of, again, it calls for one tablespoon on the recipe, but I just, I drizzle things, you know, I just go with it, and the salad was beautiful. So the salad is done. The short ribs are in the oven. The cauliflower is in the oven. When the cauliflower is gonna come out, the only thing you need to do once it's soft, put it in a blender, put one third cup. I had to do a little bit more the last time because my cauliflower was so big and it wouldn't blend. So it just, it was this very porous uh, consistency that wasn't a, a puree. So I added a little bit more of the heavy cream. I cooked it for a few minutes, moved it around. It was amazing. So. That's all you're gonna need to do. I will show you um, the consistency of the cauliflower puree that I really love and appreciate. And that's it. You're gonna um, you know, put a little bit of salt and pepper on the cauliflower puree and you're gonna have an amazing meal, beautiful meal, perfect for date night. It's very elegant, very mild flavors, which we absolutely love. So once all of that is done, because we have to wait a few hours, I will show you the rest of the steps and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. And again, don't discard this like right before um, I'm ready to serve it. I'm going to put this in there because I don't like things looking wilted. So 
Yes, they okay, do. So I just want to show you the ribs are about halfway through and see they're still not tender as they should be, okay? So I am going to give them just a little more time, okay? But they're looking great. And then look at this. I have the cauliflower in here. See how it has those beautiful char um, colors, okay? And then I put the heavy cream in there. I just use this uh, heavy cream. I put the one third cup, but I'm probably going to add a little bit more than that. Okay, so this is the um, cauliflower puree, and I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. Okay, so dinner's finally ready. The cauliflower puree is ready and looking beautiful. Usually it doesn't come out uh, this grainy, right, Itay? Yeah. But um, I really didn't want to interfere with the cauliflower uh, flavor and I didn't want to keep adding cream because I felt like that was... It would change it up. It would change it up, yeah. And so I, I thought it was going to be hot. Oh, you want to freak me out? Okay. Um, okay, so the way you plate it is you just put a little lump of cauliflower there and then the last time I just kind of just made a little gap it looked better than this but yeah anyway just go faster I know. Okay. there we go That's okay. that was better okay. and then we want to grab those See, when guys you're trying to film things they're not uh as beautiful and then you just grab a little okay one of the shanks a little guy like this is gonna make it so beautiful oh okay number two and then I'm going to take one big one, and that's it. Okay. And place it like that, okay? And that's it. All right. And they did take... Oh, you still going? Yeah, we are. Oh, sorry. And they did take uh, two and a half hours. And so the final step is going to be... This. Putting the um, celery salad. And so... That was the, the best part. That was the best part, right? No, because it gave it the crunch, the acidity. It just completed the dish, I mm -hmm. thought. Yeah. So good. So it delicious. Really it really did. And for the plating, I noticed that just really picking up salad like that with your hands always seems to work out best. I mean, look how pretty that ends up looking. Mm -hmm. And so I see chefs doing that all the time. I know you do too. And it really does. It makes a whole lot of difference. Look at that. You can see some of that caramelization on the ribs. Look, they look delicious. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna All do right. a taste now. Okay. Okay, so the mister's gonna give it a taste again because he really hates this part of uh, his I job. I know, moment of truth, but oh my God, this terrible, terrible thing I need to do. Enjoy the food. So he always likes to grab a bite of mm. every element on his plate. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Oh, that's so good. And it's so rich and textured and layered. Again, that meat just feels like it's been cooking forever. It has all these different lay layers of flavor. And then the acidity really rounds it out. And crunch. It's mm, great dish. Beautiful dish. Mm, Super mm, simple. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? That's it. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Bon appetit. Literally. Mm-hmm. <laughs>